Are you one of the millions of adults who considers communications to be one of your weakest attributes and certainly not a strength? If so, then I am willing to bet that it is affecting your homeschooling in more ways than you're aware of. And I'm going to spend today's video explaining what those are and one very important change that I think you could make right now in order to communicate better with your family. My name is Emily Brown, and I'm a certified Catholic life coach for Catholic homeschool moms who want to have more peace and more confidence in this call from God to homeschool their children. You can take my brand new free masterclass called How to Stop Yelling and Start Connecting, and there's going to be a link for that below this video. But for right now, I'd really like to dive into our content for today, where I'm going to tell you what the number one thing is that you need to stop doing right away to communicate better with your kids. The number one thing you need to stop doing right away in order to improve your communication, not just with your kids, but with your, your husband, with God, and even with yourself, is you need to stop assuming right now. Assumptions are just made up of your judgments and expectations, likely built upon from the past experiences that can be really useful, but more often than not, just end up getting you into more trouble and causing more problems than you would prefer. Typical things that you might be assuming on any given homeschool day or any parenting interaction might be assuming that you don't know what to do and so you freeze. Your mind goes completely blank and you don't know what to say. You might end up people-pleasing and saying yes to everything or letting people walk all over you because, again, you don't know how to respond. You might be assuming that you can't figure it out and so you stall or avoid the problem altogether, which makes the problem just get bigger and bigger over time. You might assume that your kids are doing something wrong, maybe when they're not. And so you come in guns blazing and overreacting, even if it's a completely tame and timid situation. You might be assuming that they're fighting and they're causing more problems that they can't handle on their own. You might be assuming that they need your help when in fact they could probably figure it out on their own if given the chance. What you need to do instead of assume is you need to slow down. You need to clarify what's actually going on and separate your thoughts from the facts of the situation. Here are some really great questions that you can ask the other people in your life so that you can clarify what's going on, get more facts, get more information, and formulate exactly what you want to say and what you want to do moving forward. You can ask them to tell me more. Tell me more about what's going on. You can ask them, is there a problem? I know that sounds very simple, but instead of assuming that there's a problem, just ask, is this a problem? You can also ask, why does that feel like a problem? And I really want to encourage you to ask, do you need my help? Other questions that you can be asking yourself are, what do I know to be true in this moment? What judgments do I have right now about this situation or these people? What am I expecting to happen? What am I expecting my kids to do? Am I expecting them to misbehave? Am I expecting them to lie or cheat? Am I expecting them to not work it out? And if so, am I finding evidence in my in my thought process that this is true, even when maybe it's not? What judgments and expectations do I have about myself right now? Am I assuming that I can't figure it out or that I don't know what to do? And most importantly, what does God want me to know deeply about this situation, about these people, or about myself right now. When you ask these simple questions, you get so much more clarity and you can set aside your judgments and your expectations. You stop assuming that you know what's going on. You stop assuming that there's a problem, maybe when there isn't one, and you stop pouring out more gasoline with overreactions or even people pleasing, which means that ultimately all the fires that you're putting out all the time tend to simmer down and go out on their own when you're not building them up with your own poor communication. You stop people pleasing. You stop letting other people walk all over you. You stop overreacting and you start becoming more intentional about what you want to say and what you want to do. You start being more intentional about what it is that you want to do and the results you want to create in your home, which helps you clarify and communicate those results and those actions to your family so much more clearly. If you'd like to know more about my work as a Catholic life coach, I'd like to encourage you to go to the link below this video and sign up to take my free masterclass called How to Stop Yelling and Start Connecting Right Now. And while you're down there, please like and subscribe to this channel so that I can continue to serve you every single month when I release new life coaching content geared specifically to your Catholic homeschooling lifestyle. I am praying for you. I hope you have a fantastic week. God bless.